Alright you guys, um, I'm just going to be here and talking about my first impressions about Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Now I know I'm overdue with this game, I recently purchased it. I've always been a big fan of Gran Turismo even though I'm not a, I guess you could say, really knowledgeable person in cars, but you know, I like cars, all that good stuff. And I like owning cars that I'll never probably own in my real life, so yeah, as you can see here, the menu. Alright, I'll give you a, a quick overview about it if you don't know about the game. So Gran Turismo, you know, it's a big racing simulation game. It's considered one of the best out there. So, anyways, moving on. The menu is very classy. Known to pol Polyphony, I, I guess it's the company, however you say it, pronounce it. Polyphony <laughs> Digital is usually um, known for their classy menus. The music, as you can see here, it's like kind of jazzy. All that good stuff. And as you can see here, there's a slideshow of my car. And if you just leave the controller for a moment, it should go into like, it should dim down to the background. Any second now. There you go. And that's an S2K. And I'm currently in Tokyo, as shown in the bottom left corner. Anyways, you have online, which is basically racing online. I, have tr I haven't tried it yet, so. I've yet to do that. Rankings, I'm assuming online rankings. RK basically lets you try out the traps and what cards you have for fun. Two player battle, pretty self explanatory. Events, now these events are separated into four classes. There's C, B, A, and then once you get third place or higher in all the races in each class, you unlock class S, which is obviously the best. And they have about 10 races each. Actually, they're all 10 races each in each class. Some of them have special circumstances like you can't use any other car except for the cappuccino for this one or you can only use lightweight cars etc. It's pretty simple to B and then once you get to A it's, it gets quite a little difficult. This is when you really need to start how to learn how to brake at the right moment and not just you know slam <laughs> the gas pedal all the time. I had a little trouble but you know I got it. And I'm currently running on S, and S is pretty hard, so I have yet to finish it. I only finished one so far. Now, let's see, what else can I talk about? <clears throat> the car selections. Since this is called Prologue, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, you can view it as a sort of like a full game, but a demo to the full feature game, which is going to be Gran Turismo 5 later this year. I believe there's currently 70 plus cars in this game. And go to the dealerships. Let's check it out. You have Acura, Alfa Romeo, Audi, Aston Martin, BMW, Chevrolet, Daihitsu, I think that's like a step down version of Toyota, Citroën, however you pronounce that, Dodge, Ferrari, finally included Ferrari, and I believe Lamborghini is going to be in the final product. Honda, Ford, Jaguar, Lancia, Lotus, Lexus, Mazda, Mercedes Benz, Mrs. Bishi, Mini, Nissan, Renault, Suzuki, Zebru, TVR. Volkswagen and here's some uh, I don't know Blitz uh, racing team and they have special tuned cars which you could purchase it's up to you so in this case they have the Skyline by Blitz which is pretty nice and GT also had their own selection of cars it's their own tuned versions as you can see there's the tuned version of a uh, Viper <clears throat> and as you can see the showroom it's really classy very simple nothing too fancy you go to the showroom and you get more cars. So let's say you want to check out the Lancer Evolution. Got a burp. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and there it is. Change the color, blah, blah, blah. And that's pretty much it for the dealership. You earn credits and you come here and purchase whatever car you want. What else can I talk about? I should just make this, try to make this video a little short. Since it's not my full review yet. You also have the replay system, which you can, you know what, let's just call this the review. <laughs> so you have the replay system, which you can save replays from your races, and you can watch them here. Then there's the option, which is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You can change your units, which is basically much, you want to see how it shows mile per hour or kilometers. The demo, which is the movie in the beginning. Arcade, settings for arcade, and then you can change the hardware in terms of the button assignments and then you have a logic tech racing wheel you can change that 
network in, the auto save on, blah blah blah. Nothing too exciting there. Let's see. I'll do gameplay in a separate part. And let's see. Garage, pretty much. As you can see, each time it's a different setting of your car. In this case, it's um, snowing. Continuing on, these are the cars I've owned so far. And the only thing I don't like that much is every time you want to see a single car, you're stuck in that. You can't change it. Like, right now, I can't switch to another car. I have to exit out. Which, you know, it's not too bad. It's not like a nitpicky thing. It's up to you how you view it. And then you set up another car. What's nice is that you could change your car before you race. So, well, obviously, but then I'm talking about like when you go into the racing menu or the events. So, let's say I go to class or one of the random races. I can't use this car because this car doesn't fit the criteria. So, I could just go to my garage. I don't have a car. Oh, I do. So I just pick that. Yes. That's pretty much it. What else can I talk, talk about? Let's see. They also give you the weather. The top right. The time. And the calendar. This is a recent update. I just downloaded the update. Or it's probably been now, but I just recently downloaded it. So make sure you download the update if you want to get these features. And what else can I talk about? It's pretty much it. I can't really talk about online, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not the best experience. It's a little laggy. And how, you know, Sony or Polyphony implemented the online feature, it's kind of not that great, but you know, yeah. I can't really touch upon that since I haven't tried it yet. Neos, I have not tried that either. I'm assuming it's um, Neos coming from the, co the game developer or the company and TV I have no idea what that is so I never my internet's kinda slow right now so I never wait for it to finish downloading and that's pretty much it I could touch upon so far the next part I'll talk about the uh, gameplay so continue to part 2 thanks for watching